So recently I did a poll on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me, right here's my username. You guys better follow me right now, now that you guys know I have an Instagram. Um, but I did a poll on my Instagram basically saying, do you guys wanna see my setup um, for my room and all that stuff? Why I have so many screens because I have a pretty cool setup. Um, but yeah, I did a poll and asked you guys like, oh, should I do a room tour and stuff and show you guys my whole setup? And a ton of you guys said yes. There's like 95% of you guys saying yes. So this video, I'm showing you guys my whole setup, including my over $3,000 um, like computer setup and all that stuff. So let's get into it right now. All right, so beginning of my room, we have my 2018 goals, all that stuff. You guys probably saw that. My friend wrote something terrible right here, so I had to scroll that out, but um, yeah. And then, you know, we're gonna get to the good stuff in a second, so then we have a pair of my shoes, as you guys can tell. I wear Vans very often, so I just got a pair of, I don't know, white slip-ons. We have my, uh, my Canon battery charger, a backpack, just because, um, unfortunately, I still go to school, unfortunately, keep in mind. Um, but then we have, a big whiteboard. This is basically where I just like write down, um, I don't know, kind of ideas, things I have in my mind that I'm going to forget and stuff. Obviously, it's blank because like most, of the, I don't know, I don't really use it that much. I did buy it and then I was like, wait, I don't even know if I use it or if I'm going to use it. I have another uh, <laughs> two more behind there and a shoebox. Had to keep that hidden for the video. Um, and then we have a Beats, new Beats right here. I'll show you these ones. Brand new, still sealed up. This is gonna be for a giveaway. I just have to set that all up properly and then I'll be doing that. Then we have my little contraption right here so I can plug stuff in while I'm like in bed if I need to work and stuff on my phone. Um, and then we have this little snake right here. I just won that at, uh, <laughs> I like at Santa Cruz this week. So yeah, that's why I have that. And then we have a cool little light bar. Let me grab a bat, a bit quicker. So this is really dope. There's like a ton of modes for it. Let me show you guys. The, my favorite one. This one's pretty cool, it, like changes colors to every color in the spectrum of colorsness, um, but I like keeping it on blue. So then moving on to here, we have a little cooler. I don't know, I got this for my birthday. We have a Batman piggy bank, because you know, have to keep your change, that's how you get rich, obviously. That's how you'll be able to afford the setup that I'm about to show you guys, by saving your pennies, obviously. Easter basket, Xbox, Elgato HD60S, that's for whenever I want to like play Fortnite and stream. And now, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, my complete setup. Let's get into it. Alright, so again, sorry for the cord management. I have not like focused on cord management really, so I've been just buying a ton of stuff recently, so it's kind of hard to. But we're gonna start with the chair, okay? So this is like a I don't know, I got this at Office Depot, I believe, and honestly it's like a decent chair. I don't I don't really like those gaming looking chairs. It looks makes me look like a nerd, and I don't really like that. So this one's pretty nice. Um, I mean it was only like a hundred bucks. It's kind of comfortable. I literally sit in this all day. Not all day actually, um, but I sit in it a decent amount and it's pretty comfy. I mean I can't deny it. We're gonna I'm gonna like get into the specs of this whole setup right now. This setup probably cost me, um, oh god, probably over three thousand, uh, close to four thousand dollars probably. So I'm gonna just kind of go through it all. Uh, oh no, easily for over four thousand dollars. So I'm gonna go over everything and just show you guys um, kind of what I have, why I literally have three screens um, and all that stuff. So let's get into this. So basically, we have my iMac right there. This is the second to biggest. Uh, I think it's like the smaller one. Actually, this was about retails at like a thousand dollars, a little over a thousand. And then this is an iPad. I literally just bought it yesterday. Um, it's iCloud lock, so I just bought it. Um, and it like barely fits in my drawers for phones. I'll show you guys this. Uh, this little um, ton of phones, but yeah, it doesn't really fit in there, so I just put it right there. Um, I bought that for like, <laughs> I think $20, and I'll resell it for around 100 so pretty good buy. Um, and then we have my Logitech speakers back there. These are amazing. They were literally under $100 and sound amazing. As you guys can hear, they sound pretty solid. I'm going to turn this off and we'll turn it on a little bit. Um, and then we have my St. Laurent wallet. I love this wallet. It's pretty nice. Don't have a lot of money in there. Um, all of it's in the <laughs> safe. Um, and then we have my keyboard right here. So this keyboard is sick. You guys are probably like, um, why is it not linked up with those colors? Well, keep in mind. 
Uh, it's basically, uh, I think this is called reactive, that's the thing. Basically when you press the button it turns the blue. Um, I think that's pretty sick. It looks kind of cool uh, when you do that. Just so that's pretty sick um, and then I have Asus monitors I do not know the name I will put the links in the description though if you want to check them out let me turn this off so you guys can like see what it is um, so basically here let me turn this uh, I think yeah that's how you, how you can do that too sounds pretty cool um, but yeah this is kind of the monitor it has a matte uh, finish to it and then I have my Logitech um, webcam right there. It's pretty nice, I guess. I don't really know. I just bought it because everyone online said that was a solid one. So yeah, this um, Asus monitor is pretty sick. It's nice. I mean, it has a uh, one millisecond response time and I think these retail for like three or four hundred dollars. So I have two of them. I'll show you. These are the same exact monitors. Boom, boom, same exact thing. Um, so yeah, I have that. And then this is an iBuy Power Traced uh, Trace 930. I bought it brand new. There's all the internals as you guys can see. i7 core processor, um, one terabyte of storage, I think eight gigabytes of uh, RAM, I believe. Yeah, I'm not really too fancy into computers or anything like that. I just needed a, a pretty fast one to do some working and uh, streaming and stuff. And then this is a subwoofer that came with Logitech speakers, um, but let me turn these back on. So why do I have three screens? What's the, oh, here's another iPad. This one I actually use, um, you know, I know all the login and stuff. As you guys can see, I know it all. It's not like it's locked or anything. This is my personal one. Um, so yeah, okay, it's saying software update, whatever. Um, <laughs> but why do I have three screens? And wow, my chair is squeaky. It's kind of annoying. Um, but why do I have three screens? Because most people have one or sometimes two, but I have uh, three, so <laughs> why do I have three? Um, basically, this is my editing computer. I just edit with iMovie. It's very easy. I can pull it up and show you guys all of my videos. Uh, yeah, there's one. But yeah, as you guys can see, all of my videos, they all should load right now. Yeah, all of my videos are right here. I delete a lot of them though, just because I, <laughs> this is only a terabyte storage, so it gets backed up pretty quickly. Um, but I mean a terabyte's a lot, it's just like, I can fill that up pretty quickly when you're editing tons of YouTube videos and stuff like that. And then this screen, what is this screen for? This is like my main work screen. So what I really do with this one is I kind of like, here, I'll turn it like this so you guys can see me. Um, this screen right here is basically when I'm doing most of my work, so like, Let's say I need to, okay, this is not focusing properly. I think that's fine. Um, so let's say I need to go on Craigslist and list some ads. I hop on this computer, or if I'm gone um, away from my house, I just hop on my phone. Well, now I've outsourced that, so I don't really have to do that ever. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I use this screen for, as well as like setting up stores, um, running ads on Facebook, uh, kind of like doing whatever, uh, really like work required with that. And then this one's kind of just for editing, like I said. What is this third one for? Well, as you guys can see, I play video games. Uh, there's Call of Duty. I was just playing that yesterday. That's my uh, username. You guys can add me. OS3B if you guys want. And then here's the beloved uh, Elite controller. This was a dope controller. <laughs> Retails at like over 150. Obviously, I did not pay that though. I really never buy things retail except for like that uh, and that and that and these. Uh, that I did not buy retail. I bought this for a dirt cheap price. Shout out to one of my friends. I bought this for like such a cheap price. It's kind of unreal. I can resell it right now and make a lot of money on it. But um, yeah, so that's kind of it for this whole setup. So the computer was about 13 or 1400. The monitor, we're just going to say 350 a piece. So that's 700. So we're already at like 2000 right there. Um, the keyboard was I think 130. The mouse was like 80. So that's another 200. That's like 12, or that's like 22, 2300. Uh, speakers were 100, so that's like 2400. We'll just include the controller. Uh, so now that's 20, we'll just say 2500, 2600. Um, the iPad, that's, we'll just say like 200. I don't really know how much that is. 2800 uh, computer was like, it's 1200 retail, so that, that sounds like $4,000 setup to me. Um, I obviously, again, did not pay retail for all this stuff. Oh, I mean, I guess wallet too, 400 and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my setup. This desk I actually did get at Ikea. I freaking love it. The drawer, it was like super easy to put together. I don't want to open up all these drawers because I don't, actually I don't think I have anything terrible in here. Yeah, no, I don't really. Let me check to make sure. Don't want to have any surprises in the drawers. Yeah, I, I got this from Ikea. Um, you know, there's a drawer right there that has like kind of all my tools and stuff. This drawer has like headphones and a deodorant when I smell. And then my old iPhone screen, as you guys can see, I fixed this screen, I actually broke it. And then I ended up, I wanted to put a white screen on it to look unique, it's an iPhone 7 Plus. I think I'm gonna get an X today though because I messed up my um, earpiece speaker so it doesn't even play sound. So I have to call people on speakerphone um, in order 
order for me to hear people. But yeah, then there's that drawer. Then they get into bigger drawers. This is like my tripods and stuff. I actually have to move this tripod into here. Um, tripods slash a microphone slash headphone holder or cases. This is kind of, oh, that's paperwork I can't really show you as much of. And then iPhones right there. And then this drawer basically has like tape, uh, post-it notes for managing inventory and a pen. This drawer just has more pens kind of cluttered. This is just a white, <laughs> another whiteboard. This one is nothing. And I don't think there's anything. Oh yeah, this is just uh, other packages that need to be shipped off. Actually, I forgot to ship that off. So I'll do that after this, or it's Sunday, so tomorrow. And then there's another package I have to ship off. And then there's my Audio got really messed up, so I'm gonna try and voice over this part. I'm sorry, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so in my closet, we have my safe. Uh, we have my Yeezys, because I'm a typical entrepreneur online. Um, we have shoes. We have uh, shipping supplies, as you guys can see. Uh, there are the bubble mailers, yep, right there. And there are black ones, right there. It's my hat box, as you guys can see. There is more shoes. Oh, crap. I accidentally showed a product that was going to drop ship. Well, um, here's a free product right here if you guys want to try and drop ship it. I think it has a lot of potential, like, to sell. People can buy it for their kids for their birthday and stuff. Um, but, yeah, there you go. Um, closet organized from I'm super OCD so long sli uh, long sleeves are on this side short sleeves on that side color coordinated from white to uh, dark red so yeah there you go for that uh, safe right there like I said that's where all the racks are uh, a pellet gun not a real gun and then this is kind of cluttered but this is my school attire and then white to I believe red again um, and then shoes, as you guys can see again, I tried to keep it clean. Um, it's kind of just all shoes. Here's some bubble wrap for funsies. Uh, then, you know, shoes, that's kind of, I spend a lot of money on shoes. Actually, not too bad lately. I haven't been spending a lot. Um, but that's kind of about it for my setup. I mean, I don't really think I missed anything too much. Uh, let me look around. Yeah, no, I don't really think I missed anything. But yeah, that's kind of my setup here. I'll give you guys like a little overview of that. So yeah, that's kind of it. Um, this is where I chill. This is where I, whether it's like play video games, hang out with, if I have like so people over at my house, well, I actually, we normally don't chill down here. We just go downstairs. Um, maybe I'll do a house tour sometime. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, well, I think I'm, I'm moving out of my, so I still live with my parents. I'm still in high school, but I'm getting my own house, I believe, in like a month. So that will be pretty pretty cool. It's going to be in town in Fresno, California. Uh, you guys probably already know I am in that city. And I actually am looking for like one to two roommates because I think I'm just going to either buy a house and then just like pay obviously the mortgage monthly or like rent a house for a few months and then see if I want to move out of state or something. I was talking to my friend Jacob and he was saying how like cheap it is in Vegas and Nevada and Arizona and Miami compared to like California. And I was like, well, I researched it and realized how expensive it is in California. So still up in the air about where I want to move for long term um, but right now I think I'm going to move into my own house uh, in my own town Fresno right now and then get a feel for kind of like living on my own and then see what I want to do maybe I'll move just buy a house in this town or move to Arizona or Nevada or I don't really know I'm actually looking at Arizona heavily right now I don't know why I like the Arizona vibes I guess I, well, I've never even been to Arizona I like the houses over there and they're really not expensive so that's kind of why I enjoy it plus I really don't have to live anywhere specific like I work from my phone, from my computer, um, so I don't have to do much. So yeah, that's about it for this tour of my room. As you guys can see, uh, it's kind of all of it. It's not the biggest room, but it's it'll it'll do. It does. Um, it yeah, it does. I think I've made a lot of cash in this, a lot of money in this room, and it's pretty cool. Like this is my workspace. This is where I work. This is where I get stuff done. I mean, today I woke up and I had already made like profit, uh, net profit, like in profit, not uh, revenue. I've profited three hundred dollars just by the time I woke up which was pretty cool like there's been a lot of money made in this room and it's kind of insane like I was talking to my mom and she and sorry to ramble if you guys just wanted to see the tour you guys can hop off this video please click, click the thumbs up but I was talking to my mom and I was like wow it's kind of insane like I made $500 this was a few days ago I've been making quite a bit um, lately and I was like I made $500 today and I was playing Fortnite and at the beach and she's like yeah that's insane um, and I was like you know how many hours it takes people my age to like make that on a minimum wage job it's like that's a full weeks or two weeks worth of work and I'm making it in a day like without even working much and so it's kind of crazy um, to see myself do that and be at this point in my life where I'm just like waking up to quite a bit of funds um, every single day and it's not like it's it's not like this is special like it's happening every single day and it's kind of like pushing me to keep going and stuff like that 
um, because obviously 300 to 500 dollars a day it's cool but it's not like an insane amount of money but it's not like an insane amount of money I mean obviously I should be scaling up to quite a bit I'm gonna be starting to tr uh, trade stocks now that I have a lot of capital um, and if I can get like 3% every single day on a trade that will be kind of insane for extra money coming in um, obviously I'll just keep reinvesting that money just because I want it to compound and grow over time but yeah it's just kind of cool um, perspective wise to see what I'm doing right now so that's pretty cool but I guess that's it for this video I mean I think I went over everything um, if you guys did enjoy please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and if you guys want to learn how I'm able to kind of afford all of this in my room because um, this is a four thousand dollar setup and I did not really budge of you know when buying all this stuff like it's not like I it's not like I spent all my money on this setup it's not anything close so if you guys want to kind of learn how I'm able to afford this stuff obviously uh, I have tons of videos on like how I make money and stuff like that but I will drop a link below on basically like how I buy this stuff and how I can buy like I told you I bought this Mac for a very cheap price um, and I'm able to I will be able to resell it and make money on it while using it which is insane most people think when you buy something like a MacBook it's gonna lose money uh, lose you money but no I'm making money on this computer while running on it and you know using it constantly as you guys can see Ferrari 458 on there we'll have that before I'm like 21 easily so that's pretty cool but if you guys want to learn how I'm able to afford this stuff I'll first link in the description you guys can check that out uh, but other than that hope you guys all enjoyed this setup tour and if you guys don't have to click the link in the description it's just if you guys are super super curious um, and so yeah I guess that's about it for this video I'm going to buy an iPhone X I think right now um, so I am going to chop this video up, edit it, and then I'll hopefully upload it today. It's Sunday right now. Uh, I'll try to, but time is limited. So other than that, peace out. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, let me know what your guys' setup looks like. Maybe you guys have similar computers to me. Um, I do know someone else has this computer, one of my subscribers. So, you know, let me know how your setup is and what your setup goals are. If you guys enjoyed mine or not, or you guys have any suggestions for what else I should do for my setup. My walls are super, super, super blank, as you guys can see. So let me know if I should get any wall art or something like that. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Sorry my nose is stuffy, by the way. All right, peace out. Oh.